Are you lonely? Would you like a date for Valentine's Day? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you just want to fuck. Maybe you want someone who's going to be truly devoted to you, who will make all your dreams come true. Today, I'm going to bestow upon you one of history's darkest secrets. No longer will you spend your nights alone. No longer will you have to find yourself a date, only to suffer the humiliation of rejection once again. Today, we are going to summon a succubus, or an incubus if you prefer. How, I hear you ask? Well, with this simple ritual, of course. For the ritual, you will need a candle of any colour, just not a tea light, paper, a pen, and a needle. Find a place where you can be alone and undisturbed, and perform this ritual between the hours of 3am and 6am, preferably after sleeping. Make sure you are in a comfortable sitting position, clear your mind, and start to formulate what it is you desire in your mind. You will need to write a short letter to my mother, Lilith, and you should always address her with the highest amount of respect. Write your thoughts on the paper. This is not an essay, so no need to watch out for grammatical errors or spelling mistakes. Just be sure that what you ask for is what you truly desire. Write what you are thinking. The first few sentences will be normal, but try to let go and write what you really want from the heart. Do not think about it. Just write. Only when you feel that all your wishes have been expressed in full, then it's time to end the letter. Once again, addressing Lilith, and thanking her for considering your request. End the letter with the following sentence. All these words are my heart's desire. I mean them truthfully and swear to them in name and blood. Sign the paper with your full birth name and then prick your finger with the needle. Let one drop of blood soak into the paper. After you have finished with your letter, lay it in front of the candle and begin to meditate. Take your time, concentrate on everything you wrote. Focus your desire on the letter. Once you feel you are ready, then say the following. Lilith, please receive this offering. I give it truthfully and willingly. Burn the paper without folding it, and while burning it, say, May the light of this candle burn brightly and guide your daughter to me. Alternatively, if you would like one of my brothers, then you will be requesting a son. Make sure to leave the candle burning for at least 30 minutes. Relax yourself and clear your mind. The effect can be, and mostly is, immediate. You will feel small gusts of cold air brush your cheeks, tingling on your skin that feels as if your hairs have been gently touched. Depending on how sincere you were, and your overall ability, you may feel a tightness in your chest. It is paramount that you let this happen without breaking your meditation. You will feel aroused, and your breathing will start to become faster. At some stage, your arousal will become so strong that you will lose concentration. If that is the case, then say the following. I thank you, daughter of Lilith, for coming to me. I welcome you into my life and into my dreams, and ask all other spirits, demons, 
and entities who have been attracted to my ritual to be gone and leave in peace. Blow out the candle and then go to bed and that's all it takes. So the next time you find yourself feeling lonely, be sure to ask my mother to send you one of my brothers or sisters, just as Kyle did. He has been very lonely every Valentine's Day for the past three years, and he didn't want to be alone this year. So he performed the ritual with moderate success. Who are you? I am Lilith, and these are my daughters. I am Shira, and I am Calamity. Don't let the name fool you, I'm a demon in bed. You summoned us, Kyle. I shouldn't be able to see you. But it was your true intent. You want to see who you're fucking, don't you, Kyle? Don't you want us to fuck you, Kyle? Well, yeah, but... So, relax, and let us make all your fantasies a reality. Come over to the bed. I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. Don't you want to feel good, Kyle? Don't you want to feel our hands all over your body? Don't you want to feel our warmth as we fuck you? Take my hand and come with us. This all seems so much. I shouldn't be able to see you. I think that- Don't think. Just do. Come on, Kyle. Come with us. Don't you want us to fuck you? Well, of course. I did ask for this. I'm just overwhelmed. I guess I didn't expect it to work. Oh, it worked, Kyle. It worked just fine. Kyle did, exactly as my mother and sisters requested. And he had one hell of a night. Little did he know, when sleeping with one of my kind, we have a nasty habit of draining your energy. Your life force, if you will. And that poor soul didn't last the night while fucking three of my family. So remember, if you try this, pace yourself, or you may find this Valentine's Day to be your last. Nico, we have another ritual. I'm sending you. Take Shira with you. Come, brother. Well, got to go. Looks like I'm being summoned. 